In this video, we're going to talk about dynamic VLAN assignment or VLAN steering over Wi-Fi captive portal. In a converged wireless environment where you want to provide network access control to users of different profile, for example, you may have visitors, members, and staff, you want to logically separate them into different network after they connect to your Wi-Fi so that you can enforce different upper layer security, firewall access control, or bandwidth control, or offer different user experience. Traditionally, this is done by providing different SSID and each SSID maps to its own respective VLAN. But this is very confusing for the user. You will see too many SSIDs and the administrator will have a hard time to manage such a complex wireless configuration. So now with this VLAN steering feature, you just need to broadcast one single SSID. Everybody connect to the same SSID. They will be seeing the same landing page or same login page. Then they can choose its own sign option. For example, if you're a guest, you may need to do self-registration over email or SMS. And after you sign in, you'll be allocated to the guest VLAN. And if you are a staff or member, you'll be already provided with your own account, which are attached to different profile. And after you sign in, you'll be allocated into another VLAN. So they are completely logically separated for maximum security. You can also apply different bandwidth to different VLANs. You can also apply apply different bandwidth control to different accounts even within the same VLAN. And now I have a demo set up here. So the AP needs to support Mac based authentication using external radius plus dynamic VLAN assignment. That means the radius server on our HSG will inform the AP to steer user into different VLAN based on the user profile. Most of the enterprise APs support this feature. Then on the switch, you just need layer two switch with, which supports VLANs. You provision all the VLANs on the switch. You also provision all the VLANs on HSG. You just need a single connection or maybe a bounding connection to the switch and you trunk all the VLANs to the HSG. That's all you need. So I have a Ruckus AP here. So I've already configured an SSID and then you just need to configure for this SSID, you're gonna enable Mac-based authentication. Different vendor may have different ways of configuring their AP, but the concept is all then you will define authentication server. The authentication server is essentially our HSG IP address. Okay. So specify the pre-share key for radius. So these are all standard configuration. It's similar for different vendors in terms of concept, but they may have different configuration manuals. So on the HSG, I'll just provision different profiles. So there will be a default profile, which is the quarantine VLAN profile, where the users will be steered into VLAN 100. And I will have, to make it more complex, I have a visitor profile where I will steer them into VLAN 101. And you can also optionally set a timeout profile setting. That means after every 30 minutes, the user will see the landing page again. You will steer them back to the default VLAN and they will see the landing page again. They have to re-log in again because some place require visitors to keep on seeing the landing page so that they can, you know, keep on reminding them you are a visitor or you can put some branding or marketing message on the landing page. But then for members, for example, you can have another VLAN. If you sign as a member, you're given a member account. Then you can steer them into another VLAN. You can also assign different speed like 5 Mac for members. And I have configured visitor as 2 Mac for the visitors. And to make it more interesting, so I have defined another 2 account which is today in most hotel Wi-Fi networks, they are connecting to an open Wi-Fi and there's very little security because most of the time the guests can, can pin each other or they can reach to each other. So there's a high chance that you know one guest or one external get visitor can hack a guest device. So now you can steer different guests into different VLANs so they are logically separated from the rest of the guests. And some Wi-Fi has client isolation feature, but client isolation isolates all individual devices. Let's say if you're a hotel guest where you have multiple devices, you want those devices to talk to each other. So you want them to have the same VLAN and so they can talk to each other. And there's no location dependency. That means you can move around your environment, uh, physical environment, as long as you sign in with the same account, you are always allocated to the same VLAN profile setting. So I have configured some default user account like demo user for the visitor. So the demo user will attach to the visitor profile and the hotel guest, let's say room number 202, they will assign to VLAN 202 and gets its access speed. A member you assign to the member profile, which we have seen just now, it will be assigned to another VLAN and you get another access speed. So from a network setting, so we just need to provision the multiple VLANs on HSG. Each VLAN 
VLAN will map to a different profile like VLAN 100 you assign to the quarantine VLAN and 101 assigned to the visitor VLAN and you can give them different address so they are completely separated into different networks so that's basically how we configure on the HSG site so I'm just going to do a live demo as an end user to connect to the network so I have already broadcast the SSID as per my Rakas AP configuration RANSnet demo I will be selecting this SSID to connect as first time user then I will be prompted to log in and with the landing page so now I'm just going to simulate it as a visitor with SMS so just put in my mobile number get an OTP as you can see I'm automatically attached to the visitor so I just copy my OTP and I get access as a visitor so if I check my IP address now, I'm actually getting 172.17 network IP address, which is in line with the visitor VLAN IP address. So I'm just going to do a speed test to confirm my speed. So I'm getting about 2 Mac speed as per configuration. Just going to move this over. In my access profile, I configure 2 Mac for visitor. So this is in line with my configuration here. So I'm just going to do another test for member. Again, as member, I connect to the same SSID. So I'll be asked to log in and I'm prompted with the same login portal. So this time I'm going to sign as a member. Okay, so I'm logged in. So I check my IP address again and refresh. I get 172.18 network address, which is as per my configuration. This is in my member VLAN. Okay, so this is the member VLAN. So I'm just going to do another speed test as a member. For member, I'm allocating 5 MAC. So as you can see, this is pretty much in line with the profile configuration. If you look at the member profile config, it's 5Mac. So I'm going to do another test as a hotel guest. For example, I'm just going to log in with my hotel guest account with the room number and last name. So I'm getting the same SSID, I'm connecting to the same SSID, getting the same portal. Now I'm just going to log in as a hotel guest. And log in success, I'm just going to check my IP address. So I'm getting my own VLAN IP address for my own room. So if you look at the VLAN configuration for room number 201, so I'm actually assigned to 10.20, which is in line with what I'm getting now. So I just check my speed again as a hotel guest. So I'm getting 10 Mac which is in line with my hotel guest profile configuration. Which is here. So as you can see this the user experience is very simple now. Just providing the same SSID, everybody see the same landing page and you log in with your own profile, you're allocated to your own respective VLAN, completely separate from each other, and you're given access speed for different profiles and different network address as well. That's all for this. Thank you very much for watching.